Uh, the 2024 Bonnaroo Festival will include an emo super jam led by Dashboard Confessional, as well as headliners Post Malone and Red Hot Chili Peppers. It'll take place uh, June 13th through the 16th in Tennessee. I'd like to see a concert with Chili Peppers and Post Malone, like a couple of different genres, but all bands that I like. Not yeah. like two bands, and then 50 bands that suck. But that's even that I, I'm a big fan of festivals. I don't know how people go to the, the Bonnaroo because it is so hot and it's there's so no cover. There's barely any trees. Yeah. Everybody's fighting for shade. It just sounds so. The, my Lollapalooza was Lollapalooza 2, and that Lollapalooza had um, Ministry, Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, Jesus and Ice Mary Cube, Chain. the Jesus and Mary Chain, the, uh, I don't know, I, I don't think that was Smashing Pumpkins, I think that was, maybe it was, I don't remember, but Red just the, Chili Peppers. It was the Chili Peppers, yeah, yeah I think they headlined they that year, and wow. then, uh, yeah, it was amazing. You got like 10 bands that were all superstar bands together. That's the kind of thing you want to see. Yeah. I don't want to have to sit through, you know, 12 crappy bands to get the Post Malone. So know? I am not a festival guy at all, but I've said it a million times that Welcome to Rockville, the way they do it down there, they do such a mm -hmm. good job of it. And they do have cover and they have yeah. water and you food everywhere yeah. and all that stuff. But as soon as they have the two main stages and then they have other stages and stuff. But as soon as this band stops, this band starts yeah. over awesome. here. And you have other, you know, bands that are playing offshoots and stuff, and they're pretty good on the schedule as far as not having a lot of stuff overlap. But yeah, it's it's. I was very surprised because I usually am like, I'll get there for like two songs of the opening band mm -hmm. and then the headliner. That's yeah. all I want to see. But it was a good time. There's this festival called Hangout Fest that I know you guys would never go with me to. But... Wasn't that the one Robert Plant played? Yeah, yeah. And it's it's on the beach, and you have to stay in one of the hotel rooms to go. And you basically just you can either watch from your balcony if you got a balcony room. Or you go right downstairs, and the festival's right there. They have, uh, I think it's Key West, the Rock Island or whatever that they have down there. Although this year wasn't great, but they did have a lot of like the hair bands that we love oh, and all that yeah. stuff. And they have all those hotels all around it and everything. That's yeah. a Moose, I think, went. Somebody went. Yeah, I believe, it was really yeah. good. Yeah. I uh, would love a hotel where you could watch it from your balcony. Right? Yeah. That's the yeah, way. man. And I'm telling, like, I'm on their the Hangout Fest website right now. It's all on the beach, and the hotels are right there. I mean, they're Who right some there. Of the headliners. Oh, uh, it's. See. I can sit there and you can load your, your balcony up with beer. Yeah. Get a whole Bud Light keg going over in one corner and a little little hibachi in the other. Oh, it would be perfect. Invite some uh, people over. Yeah. yeah that's what like, up. hey, you should come up here. <laughs> that would be the best way to do a festival. Instead of actually, like, doing a grounds, you just rent out, like, a hotel. hotel and do it at yeah. the bottom of the hotel. So can I tell you my idea, trademark, by the way, that I thought of a long time ago that would be fantastic? I wanted to open a nightclub called Hotel where it actually had hotel rooms. And then the dance floor was in the middle of the, uh, Genius. you know, like a, the a lobby, but no, like it was uh, outside, like hotel thing, whatever, where the uh, courtyard courtyard. Yeah. Would be yeah. the whole dance floor and all that stuff. But then you have your room, you know, you don't leave, you stay overnight, you party, you can do whatever you want. Your room, Take a nap, come back and party <laughs> yeah, again. Exactly. I yeah. thought yeah. that would be Go really throw cool. up. You just have to like up. spend a lot of money on like noise cancellation. In your no, room. you just have to be ready for it. Oh, yeah. You never, I would, you never get any sleep though. No, you're not you going there to sleep, Carmen. Yeah. Okay. Look, Joey, Loser. Charlie, Loser. You're out. Charlie Belcher showing Gio's bed. Oh, <laughs> yep, that's about it. A little bed. Oh my god. Uh, Gio, you probably already know about this, but uh, you'll be excited. Mandalorian creator John Favreau will direct a new Star Wars. Did you hear about this yet? Well, I, I did. The movie is called The Mandalorian and Grogu. It's unclear when the uh, show's timeline uh, with this new story will take place. Yeah. Stuff. So oh. I, apparently what I read was that this is how they're going to end the series will be in, in a movie. Oh, what? really? Yeah. The Mandalorian so, series? Yes. Okay. Listen, we've talked about it before. You really have to give John Favreau credit 100%, for a really lot do. of stuff. 100%. He's Independent films, yep. swingers, doing all that stuff, whatever. Uh, coming out with uh, Maid the and uh, then the doing Elf. Elf then doing the whole Mandalorian stuff. Like well, uh, he's the, really the one that started all yeah. of the Marvel stuff. He was Iron solely Man. responsible for Robert Downey Jr. as yeah. Tony Stark and pushing the Iron Man movie to be made because it was considered like a B list, C list really? character for Marvel. And because Tony to... Stark was an alcoholic. Yeah. 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 And he had a, he had issues and all that. So uh great vision to see Robert Downey Jr. because it kind of paralleled his life. But the main guy they were going after was Tom Cruise. Yeah. And Tom Cruise wouldn't have been a bad Tony Stark. I mean, rich guy who also can do stuff. I don't know. I think 
I think it's cool that he had it, but I wish they would have made Tony Stark a little more of a boozer in uh in yeah, the movies. The, well, they tried to do it in the second one. And I think people rejected it, so yeah. they were like, just bring him back to what he was. That's too bad. We want a happy arm. He's got some great, uh, in the comic book, some great just being drunk in the suit. And uh-huh. It's awesome, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How about, though, that I thought was very good scene was uh, in Avengers where he runs into his father. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. yeah. Yeah. I think the cool thing about the Mandalorian, though, they'll have a bigger budget, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mean, yeah, I, I'm sure it'll be good. Yeah, John yeah, Pedro, really. Do we know what's going on with Grogu? No. no, like who he is? No, not yet. Okay. I just know he's not Yoda. He's not Yoda. He's no. too too young to be Yoda. He's yeah. not Yoda, but he's from the same planet. Yeah, They're, but we know. don't know that what that planet is yeah, or anything. Right. Yeah. We don't know what those things yeah. are. Because Yoda was hiding out. Uh huh. In that one place, and there then was, there's that the one, one there. The one woman who's on the Senate, who's like, just looks just like Yoda. That oh. is, um, yeah, Yaddle. Yeah, Yaddle. Which, by the way, you know, there's a lot of uh, uh, crossover from uh, ET, and they yeah. have a Yoda yeah, in there, and then so they cool. have the ET in the thing, whatever. But there's also what was uh, what was the other thing that I saw where they had the Star Wars? They had three C. They had the it was uh, Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. Yeah. yeah, they had it carved into the wall. Yeah, what? yeah. Oh, that's cool. I in didn't the know temple, that. he goes in the temple, and it's and there's uh, carvings in the wall behind him, and one of them is C-3PO and R-D-2. awesome. Yeah. And then in uh, Star Wars, they had the idol that, in the beginning of Raiders of the Lost Ark, when he puts the sand there and he tries to match it, they had that idol in that's Star so Wars, cool. too. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. Uh, that's neat. I love that stuff. It's all George Lucas. Yeah. Uh, Carmen? Yes, we can oh. do it. Do it. I need dough. Cash. This hour's bone bonus keyword is... Purse. Purse. Head over to the free 1025 The Bone app and enter the keyword within 15 minutes past the top of the hour and And go go get get your your thousand thousand bucks. bucks. Sponsored by Anajar and Levine. Accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. All right. Go get your uh, thousand bucks. Is the app working? Do we know? Mm. (laughs) We'll find out here in the next 15 minutes. You got 15 minutes to get it in. Chance to win a thousand bucks. Go do it right now. Uh, finally, news glove compartments. Not a lot of people keeping gloves in there. You're keeping a lot of other stuff uh, that you store in there. But a mechanic weighed in and uh, suggested stuff you should keep in your glove compartment. Gun. What do you think? Yeah. What do you have in your glove compartment that you think you should have in there or stuff you don't have that you should Registration. have? Yep. Your registration. Proof of insurance and registration. Carmen number three is in there. Woo! Tire yeah. pressure gauge. Tire pressure gauge. Number four. A sandwich. Flashlight. A sandwich? A sandwich. <laughs> a sandwich is not in there. <laughs> oh. uh, flashlight. Uh, not in there. So firearm should be in there. Uh, firearm not in. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Flashlight number one. Oh. Yeah. Number right. one. Right. Firearm no. Um, multi-tool. Th- Yes, multi tool. You should keep a multi tool yeah. like a Swiss Army knife My, or something what are you like that. Get out and start pliers, doing work in yeah. your car. You never knife. know, man. You get a nail in your tire, you're gonna yank that bad boy no, out. You don't oh, leave you leave it, it in. Oh, you yank it out. Oh, Push it in further. Uh, yeah, valet oh. key. I'm sorry. What? A valet key. Yeah, a valet that, that makes yeah, sense. Like, oh, key? like an extra key. Yeah. No, well, but the valet key, which only starts the car. Only starts the car, does not open the trunk. What year is it? Yeah. 2024. Who has that? <laughs> Everybody that has a newer car. No. Yes. Yeah. I just have a Come second. A valet key. I just have a second key. What, I didn't get a valet key. You probably valet do, and you don't even know it. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you said, "What year is it, Jill?" And Joe, his that's, head almost exploded. That's not a thing. I'm not taking advice from a guy that hasn't driven a car in a decade. <laughs> How come you and Joe are the only one that know this? <laughs> you leave. You give them the valet key instead of giving them your whole key ring, yeah. so they don't can't drive to your house and rob you while you're eating dinner yeah. and then also if you're putting stuff in the trunk or you have a gun or something that they put it in a thing they can't open mm-hmm. Listen, i'm not making, i don't think that's a thing i'm not making oh. family <laughs> money so i'm not experienced with yeah. that. Well, that i believe <laughs> uh they say uh spare fuses it's good to have Ooh. backups in case uh, something blows on the road there <laughs> if i'm gonna have tom come and change a fuse i might as well tell him and pick up the fuse on the way <laughs> yeah but also, good luck changing your own fuses when trying to figure yeah, all that stuff no. out. I've tried to do that before, and I'm like, I don't know. This it's yeah, great if you know it. 35, you pull it out yeah, and you exactly. replace it. Mm-hmm. Simple. Uh, Multi tool, yes. Uh, pen and paper. Okay. Just in case, right. yeah, you got to leave yeah. your car, and you're like, hey, don't tow this. I'll be back in, you know, five Legit. minutes. By the way, if you're leaving a note that says you're going to be back in five minutes, also leave the time that you left. <laughs> yeah. No, don't, because if it takes you two hours, you know. Yeah, yeah but that's the whole thing. I had a guy tow my car one time. I, I stalled 
at Fletcher and 275, like right when I got off 275. You remember where Francesco's used to be, that little oh, strip yeah. mall over there? And I rolled in there, parked in a parking spot, and I couldn't get my car started. And I left the note so that I, my car died, my battery's dead, I'll be back to get it. Uh, and it was 24 hours, got, car was gone, he towed it already. Yeah. I'm like, I left you a note. Yeah, oh, but bad. that's the thing. Remember when they tried to tow my car when we were playing down at yes. Jake's or yeah. whatever that place was? No. No? No, if he would have tried to tow the Corvette, I would have okay. slashed his throat. <laughs> but uh yeah we were playing down there and i'm like because i was parked in yeah. front of a store that they were like we need this for the and uh, it's a parking spot yeah relax <laughs> uh a mini first aid kit that well, i first definitely aid kit. agree with i, I got one at charcoal's tactical i keep yeah. it in my car yeah uh tire pressure gauge we said proof of insurance and registration uh your vehicle's manual yeah. which yeah. everyone pretty much has that in there it's buried in there, probably. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. You never valet. take it out. Fingers crossed. <laughs> but, which, by the way, this is kind of old school because you literally can find everything on YouTube. You know what I mean? How did I get this thing to open? Or yeah. where is this thing? What are you? You can find it on YouTube. <laughs> uh, number one thing you should have in your glove compartment flashlight. Damn right. Got a flashlight in there. Yeah. And maybe a gun. Just keep on shooting the gun and right, then fire. Everything. Yeah, yeah. You know, but, and you can set a fire. What? Yeah. Well, I, I saw I saw a video because of the new uh conceal laws or yeah. the new gun laws. They said you should not keep your firearm in your glove box because you usually have to open it to get your registration. Mm. So you actually want to keep it in your center council. That way you council. don't oh. council. That way you don't show it when you open mm. your glove box. You, yeah, or yeah. you just I'm just tell saying them. that's what the video yeah. was well, saying. But also, whenever you get pulled over and you have concealed, you're supposed to let them know that you have a gun in the car and you can no. say, Well, you don't have no? to anymore. That's the new. Oh, that's it. That's the you never that's had what... to tell them. You, you oh, never really? had to tell them. No, no, if they ask you. Uh, but, um, you know, it's smart if you get pulled over and you know that it's going to be in view or it might come into play to say, Hey, officer, because I got pulled over one time. The guy came up my passenger side and I had a gun tucked in between the two seats. And he looked in the window and he goes, I assume you have your concealed weapons permit. I said, I do. But, you know, it's it's legal. But um, it's just safer to keep it somewhere and keep it in a holster in, in the glove compartment or between the seats or inside a little council. Um, but, uh, yeah, you can you can put it wherever you want. Yeah. If you have your I usually I just drive it with on my roof. Yeah, I hold it like... Uh, <laughs> no Yosemite desk pops. Sam. Yeah, like Yosemite Sam. Yeah. No desk pops. Nope. Uh, there you go. That is it for news. All right, Galvin, thank you. We will take a break and then put you back to work with yep. a brand new open letter.